As the price of eggs increases here in the U.S., so do the attempts to bring raw eggs and poultry across the U.S.-Mexico border. Now, that's according to the U.S. Customs and Border Protection. Our Brock De Palma is here with the details. Didn't see this coming. This was not on my 2023 bingo card. This was not on the bingo card for me either, Rochelle. Of course, the price of eggs are up 59.9% year over year, up 11.1% month over month in December of 2022, according to the latest CPI data. And it turns out people are doing all that they can to get eggs for cheaper. In a statement to Yahoo Finance from a U.S. Customs and Border Protection official in El Paso, he said, quote, we are seeing an increase in people attempt to cross eggs from Juarez to El Paso because they are quote unquote, significantly less expensive in Mexico than the U.S. This is also occurring with added frequency at other southwest border locations as well. And he said, while many headlines are saying that travelers are smuggling the raw eggs and poultry, he said most are actually declaring them during the primary inspection without consequence. Now, if, however, they are discovered during an inspection, that's when a $300 civil penalty comes into play and they are then seized from the traveler. But another U.S. border official tweeting over the weekend in San Diego that in response to not declaring those eggs prior to an inspection, they can result in penalties up to 10 thousand dollars. Now, of course, this comes as the toll of the avian flu outbreak is causing those prices to soar here in the U.S. Per the USDA, a total of 57 million birds have been wiped out, resulting in those higher prices that we're seeing across the U.S. Of course, some stores even seeing as high as six dollars, even maybe seven to eight dollars for just a dozen of eggs. I mean, well, at least the lesson here is declare them. You know, don't end up paying more in <laughs> fines than you would for the eggs in the first place. So then, Brooke, will Americans expect to see relief anytime soon? Well, according to the USDA, inventory is on the rise and therefore prices should then fall. Of course, this is going to take time. As I'm speaking to farmers across the U.S., they really say that because they had to unfortunately destroy part of their fleet, part of those uh, laying hens that produce these eggs, it'll take into perhaps the second half of 2023, even into 2024, in order to restock that fleet of egg laying hens and then ultimately get more eggs produced and to market. And therefore, when we see that happen, then the egg prices will fall. So it's not going to happen right away, Michelle. We may see more wonky stories like this happen as Americans look to cut corners. But as of right now, it's going to take time.